what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest AOS IP ROM based on Android Pie on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and let me just go into the settings first and show you which build is this one we have the about phone over here let's go to Android version and from here as you can see this is the 5th March 2019 build and this is the Android version over here of course Android Pie let me just go back and from here you can see the security patch is of latest March 5th, 2019. So this is the latest security patch as of now. And the baseband version you can see it from here. And the stock kernel over here is the Dart Plus kernel. And I have to say the ROM feels a lot smooth and everything feels super fluid over here in this ROM. And now let me talk about what launcher is there like by default over here. So this is the stock launcher as you can see. We have the Google Now cards to the left side of the home screen. And you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the like quick settings panel and by the way this is a quick step launcher not the launcher launcher and if you go to the quick step launcher settings here you will find the gestures option and we do have the double tap to screen off gesture over here or you can even set like multiple options for the double tap to sleep or double tap to turn on flashlight google search volume panel clear notification screenshot notification quick setting panel etc there are a lot of stuff over here and you can even have this swipe up gesture by that i have set it to google search so that i can just swipe up like this on the home screen to get to the google search so pretty interesting feature in my opinion and swipe down gets you to the notification by default so this is a pretty cool launcher and as you can see double tapping on the home screen makes the phone like into sleep so this is a pretty cool feature and the fingerprint scanner is working super fine too over here as you just saw and the volte icon shows as volit over here one sad part about this is there is no call recording option in the call UI. Volte calls does work super fine over here in this ROM. Now talking about the stock camera over here, well the Mi A2's camera is the stock camera of course and you have the video and stuff like you have the like stabilized video option over here or you can even shoot the 4K 30fps videos if you want to with the default Mi A2's camera and the portrait mode and stuff with the Mi A2's camera of course does work. And I have installed Google camera over here. So this is the Pixel 3 camera. So you get by default camera to API over here. So you don't need to worry about installing any Google camera APKs if you are worrying about that. So that is how it is. Regarding Google Pay, well, Google Pay works right away after you flash the ROM. So you don't need to worry on like Google Pay either. Now let me open multiple apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the RAM management over here. So I did open a couple of apps now let's open all the apps from memory and as you can see the app open up animations are straight from Android Pie and it does look pretty sweet over here as you can see. The app open up animations I really really like and the RAM management too over here is pretty great so you don't need to worry about the daily driving performance or the RAM management either over here as you can see the ROM feels super smooth over here no issues whatsoever like it, it definitely gives you the pure stock android experience and on top of that it gives you the customizations over here well if you ask what are the customizations present over here well there are plenty and it is like pretty much enough for me at least you get this like brightness sliding option by swiping on the status bar which i really really like now let me just go into the settings and show you more stuff so all the customizations are present inside owl's nest but i'll show you like other stuff right now let's go to display settings over here and let's see what else is present we have the tap to wake or double tap to wake feature and wake up on plug feature you can disable it and we have the ambient music ticker with the ambient display option of course and you can change the device theme to light dark and automatic by based on the time of the day and you have this use black af theme so that the theme totally becomes black and you have the material colors or like user requested colors for the overall UI accent colors. So these are like pretty cool features over here in my opinion. The auto brightness does work and the nightlight option is there too if you want to use those. So these are pretty cool. Now let me go into the sound settings and show you 
here you can like disable the charging sound or vibrate on usb plug so these kind of stuff is there and you can even disable the screenshot sound and on top of that we have the me sound enhancer or the audio direct so from here if you choose youth edition you can like uh, play music and get a lot better quality music i did test it and the sound output via the headphone jack is pretty amazing in this rom too so you don't need to worry about the sound quality in this rom either we have to also vibrate for calls and stuff like normal stuff and regarding face unlock well i did flash micro g apps well i did not need to like flash micro g apps two times to get the face unlock i just flashed it once with the uh, like rom and it's working super fine the face unlock is there and the smart lock like over inside smart lock we get the face recognition stuff so you don't need to worry at all regarding the face unlock and regarding the battery life i'm getting pretty good battery life i'm getting around seven to eight hours of screen on time on my usage so we don't need to worry at all regarding battery life either i guess and everything works over here now let me go into the like owl's nest over here we have the status bar and like other customization over here you can change the battery percentage or like battery style carrier level customization clock customization is there you can change the am pm option and, and stuff and icons we have the status bar icons like headset bluetooth etc icon and over here volte icon is there too and network traffic indicator if you want to see that inside quick settings you have the quick settings panel customization and one thing that i like about this quick settings panel is that we have this kind of brightness slider over here and you can toggle the auto brightness or something if you want to use that like you can just tap over here it will just enable the auto brightness so these are pretty cool and you can add more stuff from here you have the heads up toggle and stuff over here pretty interesting stuff now over here we have the quick pull down and stuff brightness control buttons and you can like control this plus minus buttons with uh, like brightness control and vibrate on toggle touch option is there and lot of quick setting customization inside notification we have ambient music ticker option battery led so that you can enable the do not disturb battery led heads up you can disable it if you want to inside notification we have the toast app icon and noisy notification if screen on these kind of features and inside navigation we get the full navigation gesture of android pie of course and you can change the navigation mode to smart bar fling or even stock and inside stock settings you have this kind of stuff and you can even invert the layout if you want to and you can even change the height and stuff and you can enable pulse the audio like visualization if you want that and inside hardware buttons we have the advanced reboot and stuff let me quickly show you it just pressed accidentally and as you can see we have the advanced reboot so that you can directly boot into recovery and stuff from here so these are pretty cool you can enable it from here and you have this disable power menu on lock screen but i disabled it i don't like this option to be turned on and screen off animation is there so that you can like uh, change the screen off animation of the lock screen animation if you can call it that way so you can change it to crt color fade simple fade etc and inside volume panels we have like this kind of volume customization pretty normal stuff and inside recents we have the android pie or audio recents you can enable the clear all button too if you are using the audio recents and inside lock screen we have the charging info and stuff and media cover art clock widget item underneath the clock etc stuff are there and fingerprint authentication vibration is there too and i don't know if you have the option to like always unlock with fingerprint i did not at least find it inside this lock screen settings so that is how it is and face auto unlock is there as you can see so you don't need to worry at all regarding face unlock if you are flashing micro g apps inside gestures we have the aosp gestures over here so that we can we have this activate torch option so that the long press power button toggles the torch in the lock screen so that is pretty cool and inside over here swipe up home button gesture you can enable this full gesture mode and double tap to slip on the nav bar so that is how it is and the spy gesture works fine you can just swipe up once to get the like recent panel and you can just swipe all the way up to get the app drawer pretty cool over here and let me go back we have this like double tap to slip on lock screen and stairs bar both we have the brightness control and the three finger screenshot gesture well one thing that i do not like over here is there is no like full screen edge gestures are present over here so that is how it is we do not get the full screen edge gestures i guess in this rom and from here we have the in call vibration option like vibrate on connect option is there and blink flashlight this is a me why feature this is there too so in call vibration and stuff are there and you can play pubg on hd settings of course you don't need to worry about gaming performance and here is the end to score of this rom 
So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this ROM. I feel this is a pretty great ROM. If you can definitely flash it if you want to. I'll link the direct link to download this ROM and gapps in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KTN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.